Welcome back to another how-to episode from Panasonic Pro AV. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the NDI and SRT protocols and explaining what they are, how they work, and activating both protocols within our PTZ camera. But first, let's take a look at the exciting new protocol of SRT. Lots of questions and being used in the industry today. SRT, or known as Secure Reliable Transport, is an open source protocol that supports the delivery of secure, high quality, and low latency video across public networks. SRT uses end-to-end -end AES encryption in order to protect content throughout the distribution chain when using public networks. SRT protects against jitter, packet loss, and bandwidth fluctuation, ensuring the best possible viewing experience for a live streamed video. So that's SRT, and also we talk a lot about NDI and NDIHX. Panasonic is one of the biggest adopters of NDIHX, and we now have the new exciting UB100, which is now full bandwidth NDI capable. So we're going to take a look at how we're going to activate both the SRT protocol and the NDI protocols inside this camera. First, I'm going to open up my Easy IP Plus tool, in which I have the UE100 ready to go. Now, all I have to do is simply open the web GUI, and I have now opened it up in Chrome. From our live page, we can now go to the setup menu once entering our credentials, and we again have many different options for customization. This time, we're going to want to look at the video over IP setting inside the camera. From here, we have a complete overview of what settings are activated. This one, we want to look at the streaming mode. As standard, it's now set to H.264 for our RTSP streaming. But I simply hit the drop down menu. And then I have lots of different options, including H.265, SRT, NDIHX, and high bandwidth NDI. In SRT, we have the two flavors as well, an H.264 and H.265 delivery. I can simply select and set. If you notice in the bottom, we can actually see SRT with our setup and the streaming format. Here, we can customize the SRT transmission exactly to what we need to do. And we can also see in here the AES level of encryption. For streaming format, we can also customize the frame rate and the resolution as we need to. And here is where we can also activate it on or off, even if in the priority mode. Now that we've covered SRT in depth and how we can easily activate it, we're going to look at another industry favorite, NDI. Inside the UE100, I can select the drop down menu here, where I have two different options for NDI, NDIHX and high bandwidth NDI both of which are included with the UE100 PTZ camera out of the box. First, I'm going to see the NDI HX settings. Once I hit set, I can then see on the lower left that the NDI HX stream can be customized. This could be frame rate, resolution, and also our data rates. NDI HX is a really popular option as it's much lower bandwidth, but it allows us to deliver high quality video content over the network. So with multiple cameras running PTZ NDIHX options, then it becomes a lot more manageable in large installations. If we look then to increase our NDI capability, we can look at high bandwidth NDI, which is the opposite. High bandwidth NDI is a really, really popular option in high scale productions. So it's even lower latency, but also retaining a lot of the lossless compression that we can find in video over IP standards. If I go to our high bandwidth NDI option, we can actually name the source, which I've changed here to UE100 full NDI, and we can start to change the formats that we want to. And right now we're in HD mode. Now that I've set full bandwidth NDI settings that we want, I can then use the free NDI tools that can be downloaded from the NewTek marketplace online. I'm going to open the NDI tools here. And in this one in particular is called Studio Monitor. And inside we can see are two PTZs. I have an AWUE150 running NDI HX mode, and now what's come up is the AWUE100 in full bandwidth NDI mode. As we can see here, we're selecting the full bandwidth transmission, and if it was an NDI HX mode, then we'll be selecting the NDI HX stream. I can simply switch between these two modes, and it changes inside the PC. I can also use the controller. And we can also use preset functionality, which is included with NDI. This is a really powerful addition to Panasonic PTZs, as the NDI tools have a full suite. That covers our two very popular and new protocols inside the UE100 and Panasonic PTZ range. 
SRT and NDI we see being more and more of an industry favorite and something that we will continue to adopt as a manufacturer. Thank you very much for watching.